Cocoon by Catfish and the Bottle Men. So we start with either an E flat major chord, or you can just play it as a power chord. But it starts off with that chord, so. Then we have this section. Seven, so that's fret five on the D, fret seven on the G. I'm just going to play so the D string and then the G string. I'm going to move that position up to fret eight. So we've got fret eight and ten. Then we've got eight and eight. Then we have eight and seven. Then this time around, instead of playing, we're going to play it the other way around. So we're going to play the G string and then the D string. So again, slowly. Then change round. Then we're going to play back to the normal way. So D string and then the G string. the verse, the first verse. So then we go into the pre-chorus and the chords in the pre-chorus are G minor, E flat, B flat and F. So one more time that's G minor, E flat, B flat and F. Then we have the chorus, and in the chorus, the chords are E flat, B flat, G minor, and F. So one more time E flat, B flat, G minor. end of the chorus you just play that E flat chord and let it fade out. So in the second verse we have the same as we were playing earlier instead of playing it an octave lower so we're going to play three and five six and eight on the E and the A string six and six six and five Again, that's three, five, six, eight, six, 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 five. Then we have the pre chorus. And then, then we have the pre chorus. the chorus chords again. So over those chords we have D string from 5 up to 8 and then on the G and again slowly so again Five up to seven, eight on the G, five up to seven, back to five, and then eight on the D string. Same again. Then we 
been playing five, seven, six on the B string, seven, five. And then at the end of that pattern, we're playing. So on the B string, that's six, eight, six. Seven on the G, five, seven, five, eight, five. So one more time slowly. That's the first part. Second part. That's the third part. And then the bit at the end. So in the second chorus, we're also going to do this. So we have the E flat, and that's up on this B string, eight, six. At seven, five on the G string, five, three on the G string, up onto the E string, five, six, and then eight on the B string, so that's So after the second chorus, we're going to pivot between the two chords, E flat and G minor. And that goes around a few times. So the last time round on this, we do come back down to the F. And then we carry on with those chords. And then we've got the solo over the top. string on fret 11 up to 13 and then we're going to bend up so that's 13 11 and then 12 on the G then we're going to play open G and then we're going to play 12 open 10 open solo so it's exactly the same as the first part then we're going to play 12 and 11 14 and 13 15 and 15 and then we're going to play 15 and 15. So that'll be. And then to finish the song, we're back on. And then we're going to finish on the E flat. the end of the song.